Hey guys, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So today I've got a special episode for you. We're going to be making Spot from the new Good Dinosaur movie. So I'm going to start off with 0.7 ounces of skin tone fondant. To make skin tone fondant, you can mix either copper color or pink and yellow color and that will make skin tone. And I'm just going to make his body first. So we're going to start out with this kind of shape, making sure it has a nice flat bottom and then shaping upwards so it has a little bit of a neck. Just like that. Now using my toothpick, I'm just gonna make some lines in his chest. And then give him a little belly button. And I'm using a piece of spaghetti to kind of skewer it all together that way it keeps it nice and strong while it's still edible. And then you're gonna need 0.1 ounces of fondant and you're going to need two of those and that's going to be for his leg. So making this kind of shape so he's sitting down on the ground, I'm going to roll it out into this log shape and then we're going to flatten one end so it'll slide underneath his butt and then we're going to flatten the other end a little bit for his foot. Just like that. And kind of arc it up like this. I'm going to wet it with some water as my glue and then slide that underneath his bum and then his legs are going to be kind of crouched up like that. Now for his little grass skirt, I'm going to use some green fondant and I'm just slicing down with my knife to kind of make this grassy type shape and I'm going to wrap that around my figurine. And there you go, that's what he looks like so far. For his head, you're gonna need 0.6 ounces of fondant. I'm just gonna roll that into a ball and then glue that right down to his body. I'm gonna turn his head so he's kinda of looking over his shoulder. And then just using my knife, I'm gonna give him a little smile. I'm gonna add two flat pieces of fondant for his ears and the little ball for his nose. I'm gonna kinda of smooth it upwards and give him some little nostrils. And then we're gonna start layering up his eyes, starting with some white fondant. Now, all of my fondant today, I've added some Tylos powder to it so that way it dries nice and hard. But you can also use gum paste if you don't have any Tylos powder. And that's just so it holds a little bit more structure. And he has some green eyes, so we're going to start off with the green and then put a black center. Finish it off with a little white speck. And then I'm going to use a little piece of skin tone fondant just to give him an eyelid. And some brown fondant to give him some eyebrows. Now I've rolled out my fondant relatively thin. And I'm going to start chopping it up to make his hair. So just cutting it up in these little pieces and we're going to kind of just scrunch them together and put them on the top of his head to make him look like he has kind of bed head and this really rough looking hair. I'm going to wet the whole top of his hair and then just clump by clump just kind of glue it onto his hair. And once that's done, I'm actually letting my dry for three or four days until he's nice and hard and then I'm going to put his arms on. But I've made this full Good Dinosaur cake, so I'm going to put him right onto my cake board. To do that, I'm just going to use some chocolate, because my cake board was covered in chocolate. And now I'm going to make his arms, and that's so I can kind of wrap him around the dinosaur. So kind of the same way we make his legs, we're going to smooth out both sides, and then kind of glue it down using some water, wrapping one arm around his knee and the other around the Good Dinosaur. Of course, you can make the, dino the arms the same time as you make the rest of the figurine, but I wanted mine soft so that way I could kind of wrap it around him. So that's how you make Spot, which is a little figurine from the Good Dinosaur movie. I hope you guys really enjoyed him. And of course, you can pair him with the actual three-dimensional dinosaur cake that I did. So you can click here for that, or you can also click here to see how I made little simple Good Dinosaur cupcakes. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to stay tuned next week for more great videos, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.